Welcome to another episode of Shock and Odd Tour Reviews. Today we are looking at the Samurai Animals Spring from Fury Toys, aka Third Party Michelangelo. Uh, no. Fuck! <laughs> <coughs> yeah! Keep that in. I believe that's Leonardo, but it's your toy. <laughs> Not for kids. <laughs> So he is a uh, third-party Ninja Turtles, unlicensed. He is listed as a samurai animal, and then there's an upgrade or custom kit that gives you additional hands and this head. So I have the hands and head and scabbards on him currently, but this is the other head. I'll show this off. So the kit comes with the toy, or you buy that separately? And they ship together. Okay. This is the stock head. Oh, that's the stock head. Okay. Yes, and it looks incredible. It's awesome. Paint and sculpt on this guy are just off the charts. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty well done. So, I'm just gonna mix everything up. But he is fifty bucks. Wow. So he's fifty bucks, and he's quite small. So there's a deluxe transformer. Or here is a. Here's a Marvel Legends. So, <laughs> so he's on the short side. Yeah. And everyone has their own opinion about how how tall the Ninja Turtles sh should be. Um, yes, I would prefer if he were taller. However. I'm okay with the price given the amount of work that has gone into this. So, paint and sculpt, there is a texture all over his skin, the shell, the wraps, the weaponry. It is incredibly well painted, all of the grommets, mm. like everything that's silver ordinarily, this is the stuff that I would fix on somebody else's, like mass market toy. Yeah. It's well done. I like all the texture in his skin, too. I will say that the this is soft goods here and the belt and the belt. Yep. Which is an interesting decision. It it it, it works better than you one would think. Yeah. But it's also just kind of strange because that's the only two soft good things on there and he's got other wraps and everything on him. And like this is soft goods but the rest of the mask isn't. So I don't know. Yeah. It is a little bit strange and yet I'm okay with it. Yeah. Maybe this could have had a wire so that you I could that you could pose nice. it. Yeah. But um, I think Donatello is coming up next. There, as of this recording, is not yet a pre-order, but um, word on the Instagram is that he's coming up next. So I mentioned that this is the custom head to make it obviously more like Leonardo. There is just a ball joint, and it's pretty easy to swap heads. So this is the samurai, actually, hold on. So here he is in his samurai look with the stock head and holding hands. For those holding hands, he comes with some accessories. Um, you'll notice he also comes with this scarf piece. He looks amazing. I love this look. I, and I'm, I'm a sucker for like like torn, tattered scarves and, and cloaks and stuff on stuff. Like any chance you give me to put like a cloak on someone that looks like they've yeah yeah dude I like it <laughs> I like it a lot he, he looks awesome this toy is fantastic here are his two katanas and it's even got paint on the wraps of the there's a couple of nicks in the blade yeah very well done tight fit not too worried about it. Let me oh. see the other one. So for those blades, he comes with scabbards that you might have noticed earlier. Um, they slide right in. And then there is a peg here. Some holes on the back. Just plug right in. But you can see. I better look at the shell detail there. Yeah. Oh, he's got a tail too. Yep, there's a tail. Plugs right in. 
Also for these those holding hands, he's got a couple of kunai. There are a pair of these. Same sort of silver for the blade and nice detail on the wrapping. Cool. And then there are a pair of these blades. Again, similar style. Similar style. They look really nice. For these, there is also a chain, a metal chain that you can use to attach. I'm guessing um, it's just an an eyepiece, sort of necklace style, yeah, eye clasp. It's weird. So you should be able to connect either the kunai or the. Is this a sickle? I don't know what. Sure. It's a harvesting tool. Yeah. So you should be able to connect either of those with this real chain. I thought there was just one, but there's actually two chains. So how do you feel about moving them around? The only problem that I've had is with the elbows. The rest of it is sort of par, I think, for a brand new toy just out of the box. So things were a little bit stiff and then they got easier to move after a little bit of use. But those elbows are just tight. They are I'm, tight. I'm very cautious moving those. Yeah. Right in here. They move side uh they move like this just fine. Yeah. It's, it's the bending them and bending the, the elbow. I did notice that this joint here on his leg was tight. I didn't try the other one. I think it's on both. The either the upper or lower knee moves more easily than the other. One foot. This guy's fun, dude. It really is. That and this style. Or this, but that size. Yes. <laughs> Either or. Yeah. So final thoughts? Final thoughts. Uh, I think I'm going to have to, even with the tightness of the joints, which is a little scary, If the, I think if you hit it with a hairdryer and it loosens up, this guy's a five pretty easy. I think for 50 bucks you're getting like the 50 bucks gets you the custom kit too right yeah With yeah the ships together stuff okay so as long as this comes with that and you get all that extra stuff for that price and like just the detail the amount of detail and work that went into this guy is pretty awesome and quite honestly i'd be fine even if it was maybe like 40 bucks and you just get the standard you know you don't get the, all the other stuff you sure. get this because this is a cool that is so cool. It's super cool, yeah. And uh, I don't know that I would ever, you would have to get two to <laughs> use it, but then you'd have four heads. So, but five, this guy's awesome. I'm going to check out some of their other stuff. Yeah, they're, they're doing um, a leather head slash killer croc, depending on which style you go with, that looks amazing. And I think it's starting to ship, so it might be in people's hands. But um, I'm. So I saw the art for this before I knew the size. If they claimed it was one twelfth, and again, turtle size varies yeah. depending on the medium. But um, I saw the art for this, and immediately I'm like, I need to have that. And then much later, <laughs> they listed a price, and I'm like, uh, it looks so cool, though. All right. And and now that I have him, I'm I'm so happy. Like this thing is, this is amazing. So I was skeptical, but now that he's in hand, and this is their first toy, really, from them. Okay. At least under this name. But it's super impressive, and I can't wait for the others. Great, dude. I mean, you've drawn me in. This is the first time I've ever heard of this company or seen anything by these people, and it's got me wanting to check them out. So uh, let us know if you've got this uh, toy in the comments below or if you're interested in what you think sound off in the comments um, like and subscribe give it a thumbs up for us and uh yes subscribing helps too if you enjoyed this video check out all our others we got tons yeah of stuff so uh yeah thank you toast till next time bye